face. Rattlesnake! The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Victoria, Texas, weighing in at 252 pounds, the WWE Undisputed Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin! Stone Cold Steve Austin looks prepped and ready to stop a mud hole. The Texas Rattlesnake is ready for a fight. Undeniable, unstoppable attitude. We're about to raise some hell, gentlemen. Stone Cold Steve Austin may be the greatest superstar in WWE history in the opinion of many. Austin's opponent has a tall order tonight. He's here. Boogeyman is as creepy as they come. Well, consider me creeped out. I don't like this guy at all. And his opponent from the bottomless pits, weighing in at 260 pounds, the Boogeyman! Hey, Byron. Are those worms coming out of your, your suit pocket? Whoa, wait, no, 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 tell me you're joking, tell me you're joking. <laughs> Cole, why didn't you think of that earlier? He ran away, and now it's time for the Boogeyman! He's coming to get you. You take down Stone Cold, you're the talk of sports entertainment. It would be a life-changing victory. Here comes the Boogeyman, and Corey's coming to get you. Now, I had a feeling you were going to get that in there, Cole. The Boogeyman is one of the more surprising superstars WWE's ever seen. The man's a physical specimen, and he knows how to combine that athleticism with the uh, more unsettling aspects of his personality, shall we say? We'll see if his opponent can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Boogie, or if they'll fall victim to the mind games here tonight. And just waiting for him, ready to strike across the ring is the Texas Rattlesnake, Stone Cold Steve Austin. One of the most unpredictable superstars we've ever seen in WWE. You never know what's going on in the mind of Austin. Ooh. Intercepted by the Boogeyman. Austin loves to bring the fight to his opponents, loves to raise hell. Yeah, and he loves to have a Stone Cold style match. Non-stop brawling. But if you want to succeed against him, you can't let him have control of the match like that. Counters, this could be an opportunity. Oh, tossed hard into the ring post. Great reversal. And now gets tossed into the ring. Strong right forearm. Whatever's playing here can't be good. He can do it here. Manages to escape before the three count. The end was in sight. That gets reversed on Boogeyman. off the attack with an elbow. Spine buster! Nighty night. Elbow puts an end to that. Stone Cold with the fast press. Fast press! Here's the cover. And that's all she wrote. Here is your winner, Stone Cold Steve Austin! Steve Austin.
Austin in full celebration mode now. I guess all the mind games on Boogeyman's end just didn't pay off. A group to be feared, the Judgment Day. Yeah, a ruthless, cutthroat collective. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. On the way to the ring, accompanied by Rhea Ripley at a combined weight of 439 pounds. The SmackDown Tag Team Champions and the NXT Tag Team Champions Finn Balor and Damian Priest, The Judgment Day. The Judgment Day have become a well-oiled machine of brutality. The Judgment Day can beat you in so many ways. The numbers game, brute force, or pure intimidation. Yeah, basically, they become of one mind, a singular focus of dominance. A win for one is a win for all, and they all will win tonight. The Judgment Day, almost creative in their physicality. They take pleasure in it, Michael. I hope medical is standing by for this one. Well, the Judgment Day, quite simply, will do anything to win. Well, there's competition, Corey, and then there's what Judgment Day is willing to resort to. Things are about to get just too sweet. The OC is here and ready to have each other's backs. And their opponents, accompanied by AJ Styles, at a combined weight of 505 pounds. Luke Gallows and Carl Anderson, the OC! We all know the OC loves to have a good time, but the one thing they might love even more is getting into a good old fashioned fight. Yeah, they brawled all over the world and sometimes with each other. The OC never sleeps on a good fight. The OC looking ready to get to work. Get to work in that ring and then get into a few cold ones after all said and done. That is the OC way.
The OC out here ready to handle their business like they've always done. This could easily turn into a brawl just the way the OC likes it. As accomplished as everyone in this group is, they all understand that sometimes you just have to scrap to get things done. That's something you have to respect. And then we've got the ever-intimidating Judgment Day. They have all the tools they need at their disposal. Power, technical ability, and ruthlessness. And they function impressively well as a unit. The Judgment Day knows how to stick to a plan and always keep the upper hand inside the ring. The communication between these two is evident by that move. Boom! It might not be flashy, but sometimes you just got to toss another person and make a statement. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. What the heck is this manager doing looking out of the ring? She can't be acting like this. Big time shoulder block with a corkscrew. Is it enough here? He is going to take this match as long and as far as he needs to. Luke drawing a big reaction from the crowd. Things are getting risky. This will not end well. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Imagine having to continue competing after eating the apron like that. And Luke gets that turn back on him. Oh, just gouging the face. Face gouge. Prime example of working smarter, not harder. That's what I say. Just continuing to dismantle their opponent. Big risk here. He may be counted out. He might be oblivious to the count, guys. Oh, and he's back in, beating the count. Into the corner he goes, a perfectly placed target. Oh, she has bad intentions now. Removing the turnbuckle pad. So ruthless. He can end it here. Gets his shoulder up before the two count. Kicking out there really has to make his opponent question his game plan. Turning the tables there. Oh, pressing their foot right into the gut. That's got to hurt. The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the bear hug. And Finn heads him off at the pass. He deflects it right back. Hoist it up. Carl Anderson tags in. He's, He's got it. Oh, ho, ho. let's get it on. Calf kick right on point. Set up in the corner of the ring. Go elbow, caught him right on the bridge of the nose. His tag team is just tremendous working together. Double teams. And it's about to get worse. Oh, draping double axe handle. Talk about being on the same page. They were on the same sentence with that fine piece of work. Oh, my God. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Face full of turnbuckle. Uh-oh. And he finds an answer for Gallo. These vicious stops in the corners. Multiple stops. Just never had a chance to block any of those. This match grinding him down a little. An example that fills with a devastating offense from Priest. Oh, man. Cover. Just gets the shoulder up. He's still in the fight, but for how much longer? Whoa, not quite yet. Did he? Uh 
Oh, man, he is more than fired up right now. He's in off the tag. He's been placed in the corner now. Priest able to adapt. Vicious shoulder tackle in the corner. Uh-oh, uh-oh. That's a free fall. Gets him with the counter. Knife edge chop and boom drop kick. Oh no, this isn't going to end well. Double stomp to the legs, and Balor's attack gets cut off. Ooh, take it up the knee. Measuring. Oh, face stop. He's starting to struggle here. Yeah, they've stuck it out through this match, but it wouldn't hurt to go for the tag soon here. Placed in the corner. <laughs> Saw that one coming. Took advantage. Nice calf kick. Great elevation. Bam! Spine buster. A calculating look has come across Carl's face. Arm ringer. Punch to the face. And now Anderson is bleeding. In full control here. Face first in the turnbuckle. Oh, man. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Just hot shot it to the outside. Laying into the arm, big time. Oh, Carl answers back. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his way out. There's the sling blade. Basement drop kick. Things now not going well for Carl. Carl certainly being tested here. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. In full control here. Face for a turnbuckle. No! Oh! Oh, he's got him where he wants him. Here we go. Determined. Finn is reaching that other level. Able to get there in time. Oh. Big time shoulder block with a corkscrew. Gallows using his strength to his advantage. Gallows pull. Oh. It has been a constant barrage from each of these competitors. Almost a hazardous amount of punishment has been dealt. It's got to be concerning. Clearly, neither man is worried about their well-being. Into the corner. This can't be good. Lifts their opponent's uh, legs. Uh oh Alley-oop! Go for the arm bar and a... Oh. And off the tag is Finn Balor. Nightmare takedown. Oh my! Single leg drop kick. He had it scouted. Look at this going right after the left arm. Gotta hurt. 
Now this is a textbook example of how to bend the rules. Using the forearm to their advantage. God, ugly but effective counter. Foot to the face. There he goes, right into the corner. Going counter for counter. Now can it be capitalized on? Tag made. What do these two superstars have in store for their opponent? Fantastic neckbreaker suplex combo. Oh, wicked kick to the lower back. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Clean tag for his partner. Oh, strong impact. Snapmare takeover. There's the kick. Where's Finn going now? Now we're looking for liftoff. Nobody home. Put it in the corner now. There's a tag. What are we going to see here? Double team effort. Double shoulder block. There's electricity running through this arena right now. Will it be the spark for one of these competitors? One. One. Dodged right on cue. Two. A big punch. Ouch. We're going to apply an agonizing arm bar stretch. Just stretching out the arm. One. Double underhook applied. Up and. Slipped out of that one just in time. The ref may call a count out soon, guys. You do not want to test this ref. In off the tag. to set things right. Meachin ready to bring a beat down. Now she's still the head baddie in charge, but now she's also too sweet. The following is a tag team match set for one fall. Introducing first, 
representing the OC from Fontana, California, Meechan! The HBIC of WWE looking to carve a name for herself and leave her mark on sports entertainment. Look, there's no doubt Meechan has all the tools to do just that, but can she put them together and reach the top? And her partner from Auckland, New Zealand, Tony Storm. To this superstar, nothing is more important than leaving it all in the ring. The WWE Universe respects that no-nonsense, straightforward attitude. Well, in my opinion, this superstar is why the boring chant was invented. Determination in her eyes. She is more than ready for competition. The self-proclaimed Hell's Favorite Harlot. And you can see exactly why. And from Atlanta, Georgia, Gigi Dolan. She made a name for herself as a tag team competitor in NXT. Now on her own, but just as dangerous, has something to prove. Yeah, despite being underestimated and underappreciated, Gigi Dolan plans to change that perception. Gigi Dolan has the ability to be pretty imaginative in the ring. She says her creativity is how she expresses herself. Well, she's ready to get in there and put someone's lights out. Well, at least we know Wendy Chu's gonna sleep good no matter the outcome of the match. And from Chinatown, New York, Wendy Chu! I hope Wendy's ready to compete, because when the bell rings, there's no snooze button. Uh, Wendy is more than ready, and I think the opposition is going to be very alarmed tonight. <laughs> you guys get it? Alarmed? Am I asleep right now? Because this is a nightmare. Hey, hey, look alive, look alert out there. Hey, you can't underestimate the Wendy Choo Choo train. You sleep in a race car bed, Saxton. Leave me alone, Corey. The WWE Tag Team Division is more competitive than ever. As these two teams get into it, I can almost guarantee...
this match will be one to remember. The standards for tag team action just keep getting higher and higher around here. And she's in off the tag. Big down one. Now into a power bomb. No muss, no fuss on that delivery. Someone clearly doesn't want this match to go on much longer than it has to. Turned that one around. Ooh, face first. Boom. How humiliating, just kicks to the face. And any one of those shots could take you out for good. Hurricane Rana! Unbelievable athleticism. And just like that, we've kicked the tempo up a notch. Down on the neck with reckless abandon. Plenty of hits coming her way now. Hip attack on the money. There's the tag. Big boot. Vicious. Cinching in a waist lock, but right hands from the opposition. So she tags in. Picture perfect. Oh. Gut kick. Nothing fancy there. Oh, that backfired out. Chop block. Brilliant. Right to the back of the knee. And Meechin won't be having a good night if she allows more offense like that. Yeah, as Dolan set out to take out the competition in this one, and boy, is she delivering now. Oh, colliding with a barricade. And Meechin reverses it. She's in danger of a count out here. I don't know if she cares. Series of elbows looking to create separation. She does so. Neither competitor makes it back. We have a double count out. Superstar ready to go with a chop block from behind. What a cheap shot. It's got nothing to do with decency. It's all about victory. Well, that could create some disastrous repercussions for this competitor moving forward in this match. Yeah, because if you can't walk, you can't fight. So there's the bell, and what started with an attack while making their way to the ring is now an official match. Just overexcited for this match, that's all. They couldn't stand to wait until they actually got in the ring. It was a calculated plan to get the advantage. Well, I guess we'll just never know. Lining it up. Oh, shot to the jaw. There are a lot of ways this can go sideways. Everything on that stage looks like it hurts. Lightning fast power 
slam by Orton. Penny predicament, shoulders down. There's two! Made it out of two! He won't allow himself to be embarrassed this early on. Uh-oh. Thunderous powerbomb. Picture perfect example for when you just want to put someone down with authority. Oh, and that surprises Wade. A counter answered by another counter. Well scattered reversal there. There's a lot to be careful of when you're in the ring with Wade Barrett. We know he has the striking ability and the technical skill to seriously punish an opponent. Yeah, but Cole, he doesn't get in the ring often. That's definitely something his opponent's aware of going into this match tonight. I fully expect him to exploit Barrett there. Oh, man, right to the R. Hyper extend your elbow. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Dangerous position here, guys. Oh, no, 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 back no. Back suplex. Back suplex. Spine crushing. That was quite the impact on the apron. You might be in shock now, but you'll be feeling lasting pain for a few weeks to come. Hammering down on the knee. And Wade is starting to falter here. Yeah, his opponent knew that Wade hadn't fully prepared for this match, and he just punished him. The jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Punishing the leg. And now you have to protect that leg from further harm. You can't finish a match on one good leg alone. Barrett saw it coming. Wade able to take a stand there. He's showing it's not time for lying down, it's time for fighting back. Now he's been put on the defensive. And Wade Barrett made everyone behind the mic proud with that move. Uses an elbow to disrupt that attack. Cut. Look at this. Snap suplex. Ah, uh, can he do it here? Fending off a two count there. These men knew this match was going to be hard fought. Uh-oh, Cole, I think we know what the Viper's doing. Yeah, Randy Orton with in position. Orton looking as lethal as ever delivering that attack. Well, some things change, but Randy Orton stays as deadly as ever. Barrett's in a daze. Could be bad news soon. RKO out of nowhere. Is it enough? The cover! Two count! Oh, and he just kicked out. I'm pretty sure everyone in the building thought that was going to be the end of it, myself included. And Orton definitely thought that would be a three count, but he can't let his frustration get the better of him. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. One. Oh, look at a torch of their opponent. Uh-oh, this isn't going to be good. Oh, man. Three. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. Merciless attacks from the Viper. And Orton's turned the match in his favor. Wade's finally able to slow all that incoming offense. But Wade has to push now while the window's open. Ow. My goodness, came down like a hammer on that arm. He's running an empty... Watch out! He misses the target. Short flight, but a rough landing. Carefully plays stop to the arm. Oh, stop right to the hand. Ah, what a smash. That is just insulting. Tag with a punch. And they're going shot for shot, more for more. Nothing pretty here, just good old fashioned fisticuffs. Slugging away with everything they've got. The fight is on, and it's furious. Ooh. They are emptying their tanks, going back and forth like this. Ooh. Boom! Can 
Can Orton withstand this attack? Looks like Orton's struggling here. He reverses it. Orton's finally able to slow all of those incoming attacks. That might be what gets him out of jeopardy. And he throws the opposition back into the ring. Orton firing up. The voices are talking to him. Wade Barrett hoists him up. Wasteland! And just like that, he has no idea what just hit him. But make no mistake, it was Wade Barrett. Just like that, Barrett gets... It's over. Wade is done. Cover! Won this match, but doing some jaw jacking and... Wait. Oh, no. Got a steel chair in hand and attacking the loser. Wants to make sure that this superstar never walks again. This will do it. Fight night! Three men born and bred to throw down. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Brawling Brutes from Dublin, Ireland. Weighing in at 267 pounds. The Celtic Warrior, Sheamus! That smash mouth, in your face style, that's what the Brutes are all about. What they do in that ring is a typical Saturday night at the pub. So that should give you an idea of the kind of dudes the Brutes are. The Brutes look more than ready to compete. Corey, what's your analysis? Banger. Mello is money from Boston, Massachusetts, weighing in at 210 pounds, Carmelo Hayes. Carmelo Hayes is a dynamic and exciting superstar to watch between the ropes. Nobody does it better, at least according to him. Well, I fail to see how anyone could disagree. Hayes has ridiculous athleticism and a skill ceiling that's only getting higher. Time for Mello to make that money. Mello! 
If there's one thing Sheamus has made clear in his time here in WWE, it's that he loves to fight. No kidding, Cole. Red hot temper, ferocious offensive style. Sheamus never backs down from a fight and has certainly never been in a fight that he didn't think he could win. Well, I'm not so sure about all that, but I am sure that we're going to see a fight here tonight. Melo's not shook by big pressure situations. He's got the confidence and the firepower to change the complexion of a match with one move. Carmelo Hayes knows when he comes out of that corner, the time for talk is over, and it's all about him. Uh-oh. What a takedown. Fujiwara armbar. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. Cover. Kicks out on the pinfall attempt. So resilient. A lot of ways Carmelo Hayes could seal this one up tonight. What's his surest path to victory? I don't think there's just one. Melo's talent comes from his confidence and vice versa. Hayes needs to trust his natural ability because it's an everlasting resource. Oh my gosh! Thrown out of ringside and back to the mat. Nothing like a... Consider that a harsh lesson. Up high. Good Lord. Taking flight. Took a leap of faith and connected perfectly. This could be just what they needed. And Hayes is having his way right now. That natural ability of Hayes shining through. This might just be Melo's surest path to victory. Sheamus anticipated that one. These two showing how well scouted they each are. Springboard clothesline! Oh, that might have just broken something. The fight is being taken to Sheamus. Yeah, Sheamus is getting beaten down. Trying to get that mental edge. You can't let yourself get psyched out. Oh, Ooh, what a knee left. Somebody better check his nose. Slam the door. Maybe not. Maybe not. And he breaks the count quickly. Just using the adrenaline to stay in the match. We're no closer to a winner just yet. Carmelo now trying to capitalize. Oh, oh, oh. clothesline stops that move in its tracks. Oh man! Boom. Did you hear the impact? And that's got to disrupt Carmelo's focus. Sheamus Shoulder lies one of the hardest hitters in all of WWE. My goodness. I do not see this match going on much longer with too many more moves like that from them. You have got to be in elite physical condition to pull off something like that. Three massive Irish curse backbreakers. What a fearsome attack by the Celtic Warrior. Now there's a bottomless supply of fight at the core of Sheamus. He thinks he has it. And he powers out. You have to think this match is starting to take its toll. Going up. Uh-oh. Fighting out. Hammering away with punches to the face. And that was offense with a hurtful purpose. Punishing attack from the Celtic Warrior. Impressive moves from Sheamus, guys. Oh, a nasty stop to finish it off. This is what he feeds off of. Moments like this, this big match feel. Oh, disabling the leg with that. Looking for a scoop slam. No, slips behind. Inverted DDT. Oh, oh, what an axe handle. Hayes is being cut down at every corner. Carmelo's not showing the capacity to fight back. Russian leg sweep. Now that'll do some serious damage. up 
barrage. Oh. This could do it. the loss. This is a tough one for Melo. It's like missing the game-winning shot. You can't get the image of the scoreboard out of your head. Waiting for perhaps the match of their career here. <laughs> here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did they come from? I don't know where they came from, but they are completely ambushing this superstar. Look at this vitriolic rage just being released. There is no way to contain the vitriol that exists between these two. And hostilities boiled over between these superstars before they even got in the ring. Now we have a brawl on our hands. Clearly a ton of hostile feelings in the mix here. Yeah, match or no match, they came to fight. And that's exactly what they're going to do. Suplex! Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Vicious right forearm. What a counter. And he has an answer for Rikishi. Wow, breathtaking standing shooting star. It takes a certain level of athleticism to pull that off. Tiger fake kick. Snap mare. Oh, and the rolling next snap. Moved at the right time. Well, some might call that showing off, but what a display. What a way to flaunt your abilities. He's one step ahead there. Driving down with the axe handle. Effective arm drag. I don't think Rikishi was having any fun absorbing that blow. Paint a picture for me, Corey. Hypothetically, what are some tactics you'd use to win an ODQ match? Well, I'd stash some kendo sticks beforehand. Maybe have a buddy waiting to give me a much-needed hand. Maybe throw Saxton like a fastball special. That's the beauty of a no-disqualification match. You can do all that and not get dinged. The sky is the limit. Quick reflex is so important in a match like this. And he said, you're not getting me with that this time. Chunk slam! Landed. Lands the knee. Boom, right across the small of the back. 
Oh my goodness, dribbling the opponent's head like a basketball. After humble beginnings, this has really grown into a career-defining conflict for these superstars. For years, their names will be spoken together as everyone recalls the war they waged against one another. Yeah, this is history in the making, guys. Where Casey got him, right where he wants him. Countered it just in time. Plants the crossbody. I don't like the look in his eye here, folks. We're going to finish it. One time bomb. Can Rikishi come back from that? And here we go. Single leg crab. Oh, it's locked in. This won't win the match, but it's doing a lot of damage. He's got to relieve the pressure. And escapes. Getting carried. Unsure what they're thinking. Boom, right across the small of the back. This match is brutality starting to show on him. There's been plenty of action in this match, and the cost of that is really showing now. Shaking power slam. And he slides him back to the mat. Vicious right forearm. Ooh, merciless looking blow. Getting him into the corner. Splash! Massive. Tell you what, this superstar doing an incredible job of turning this match around. Absolutely incredible job. Drop kick. Looking for a high risk move. We're going to finish it off. Oops. Unbelievable. This singles match is over. He is the longest reigning WWE Champion in history. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Abruzzo, Italy. Weighing in at 265 pounds. The first superstar, Bruno San Martino. Second ever WWE Champion. Now, some say he's the greatest champion ever. He held the WWE title for over seven and a half years. Not much room for debate with a reign that long. And here comes one of our favorites. And his opponent from Toronto, Ontario, Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds, the WWE Light Heavyweight Champion, Christian Page. A matchup like this, it's one that the locker room has wanted to see. It's one that the WWE Universe has wanted to see. It's one that I've been waiting to see, and it's about to go down.
The champ planning to show his dominance in this division with an emphatic win tonight. And you're looking at a superstar who comes into this match as a reigning champion. You can just tell he's got some extra swagger to him, knowing he's a title holder. To be a champion, you have to be among the best. He knows he's currently at the top of his game. And in this match, he's got a chance to once again prove that fact. Let's take a second to appreciate the other man in the ring. The superhuman Bruno San Martino. A true hero of the people. Bruno so beloved, soaring. That's gravity taking a break before coming down like thunder. How did scouted? Throwing back in under the ropes. For any words of wisdom for taking on a competitor with the incredible physique of Bruno San Martino? You have to play the long game and try to whittle away at Bruno. You can't just take him down with one big hit. You gotta take your time and whoa, 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 whoa. play possum. I love it. And he gets his shoulder up before the count. He's not even close to being done yet. He knew that was coming. Caught with that forearm. Steered clear of that. Nice amateur takedown. All the way over. Devastating kick. Boom, impact. He's taking some good hits. This is the kind of strongman offense that helped Bruno put together such an unrivaled career. He's returning fire. back with a crucial elbow. Oh, atomic drop! Averting danger with an elbow to the stomach. Pad. Don't say that too loud, Saxon. You might get caught. Oh, look out. Headbutt on target. Climbing up top. He's got big plans. Incoming. Frog splash. Fortune favors the bold. These risks could be a winning strategy. Big forearm. Consecutive attacks keeping San Martino off his game. I like this strategy here. Trying to whittle away at San Martino and slowly break him down. Finally. Austin there, opponent up. The Canadian backbreaker applied. Tap out. Ah, uh, look at this. That's a great escape. Counter after counter. Slam sets things up. Heads outside, but this one has to end in the ring. Look at him seizing the momentum here. Can San Martino recover from this adversity? He's just getting beaten at all fronts here. Yeah, this match has not been kind to him. Oh! Effectively using the knee. A well placed kick. And he's able to counter. And he gets delivered back into the ring. 
Take a good look at a real life Titan, folks. He has a task at hand, but prefers to be shot. Oh, taking it right to him. No way to. The referee continues to count, may call it soon. Looks like he has his finger on the trigger now. From the top. Oh, what a landing. Just crashing down with high if. A bear hug, squeezing the breath out of him. Well, this won't win the match, but it's one way to inflict a great deal of punishment on him. No, he lets him out. Yeah, I think he knew he wasn't going to get the submission there. Out of the ring, what's his plan here? San Martino with the impetus here. Yeah, San Martino is proving hard to keep up with. Whoa. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Oh, there's a response against Bruno. No backing down here. They really want to make sure the best man comes out on top in this one. Oh, right to the kidneys. Golly. Oh, saw it coming. Now he's looking for some momentum. The U-turn he needed in this match could have been right there. Uh-oh. Elbow throw saying not today. Front kick to the body and check out this power. And he makes it to the ropes. I knew he could. San Martino's focused. He's zoned in. Front kick to the body. And uh oh He saw it coming. Lights out. DDT connects. Goodness gracious. Double arm lock. Yeah, double arm lock up. This is what you call high risk, high reward. Up high, Tommy Cross Bay! Going all costs into the win. Two. Finally, it's over. Here is your winner, Christian this is unbelievable. We just saw Bruno San Martino taken down. Shock, awe. Oh, I can't believe we saw Bruno San Martino, the, the Italian Superman, brought down here tonight. It's safe to say this is an outcome no one expected, especially the great San Martino. Ladies and gentlemen, when you think of WWE, you think of John Cena. Loved by many, resented by some, but respected by all. The following is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newbury, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, John Cena. A superstar whose dominance has bordered on controversy has actually found himself as the target of scorn for some. Uh, the dominance shouldn't be controversial, Corey. If anything, he's underrated at this point. Cena's beaten a who's who of this business. Hall of Famers, living legends, 
Triple H, HBK, The Rock. The list goes on and on. And that bodes well for his chances here tonight. The world's most dangerous man is here. Ken Shamrock's going to knuckle up and get himself some here tonight. And his opponent from Sacramento, California, weighing in at 205 pounds, the world's most dangerous man, Ken Shamrock. Shamrock's one of the toughest superstars to enter a WWE ring. When he gets in that zone and knuckles up, people's bones start to break. Shamrock's all business. He's not wasting time when it comes to incapacitating an opponent. I don't know who can stop him. Ken Shamrock will do anything that enters his mind to emerge from battle victorious. And as the bell rings, you can tell from the look in John Cena's eyes that he is ready to do work. Hustle, loyalty, and respect. That is the battle cry, Michael. And we all know that when it comes to the squared circle, there is no one with more hustle than John Cena. He certainly has that motto on his side here tonight. He's in the ring with the world's most dangerous man, though. And we all know Shamrock could snap at any moment. Just look into his eyes. Lifeless eyes. Black eyes, like a, like a doll's eyes. The peak of intensity, of aggression. Ken Shamrock is the real deal. And he has absolutely no problem tearing his opponents apart, breaking them down in any way possible. Shamrock is always ready to go to war, and he has no problem leaving casualties. Cena's abilities are well known at this point. What do you think he should tap into in order to secure the victory? Well, for a man with his build, John has a deceptive amount of stamina in the ring. He should... Uh-oh, Forearm's gonna cut off the wind. Guillotine... Gotta find a way out of the guillotine. We're not gonna last long. Well, we're gonna bridge it out. Incredible. German suplex. Check out this power. Deadlift gut wrench applied. That just reverberated throughout the entire building. Talk about making a statement. Up and down. What a slam. Deadlift gut wrench suplex. Well, they say everyone has a plan until they get punched in the mouth. Well, someone just threw their plan out the window. Turns that back on Cena. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Cena turning things around. Cena up the turnbuckles. Up high, cross body. I don't care how much you train, you can't prepare for a commercial airliner to come crashing down on you like that. Here we go. Ooh Consecutive high-risk maneuvers, and the pace of this match has certainly picked up. Toss back into the ring. Close line. So effective. Shamrock able to defend against that. Well executed arm drag. The larger than life Cena being brought back down to earth. Yeah, and Shamrock appeared to be in the zone on that one. From behind, into the Germans. Able to stop the pin count here. Rolling into a monkey flip. He skirts away, living to fight another day. And this match will head back to the ring. Locks in the gut wrench. Suplex! He takes control. What started with strong words and healthy locker room competition has snowballed into an out of control feel. We're seeing what they call Big Mac John. Yeah, the greatest of all time. John Cena, the 16 time world champion. 
Start the count. Look at the look on his opponent's face, Cole. He can't believe it. Close fist connects. Fisherman suplex classic. Sight set on the top rope. From the top, the leader of the C Nation. There is no doubt. He may get the three count right here. This is it. No. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. And finds a counter. Oh, normal right suplex. Oh, using the knee. Oh, no. I think that one busted up Cena's face. Shamrock caught with a reversal. Quick strike to the lower body. Slugging it out, toe to toe now. Ooh. Two Titans trading strikes and refusing to back down. Giving up now is not an option. They have to finish this. What do they have planned here? Boom, knee trembler. into a reverse DDT. He's going for it all. So much punishment has been absorbed by these men already. And yet, they are still going. Still ready for more. Being carried around with ease. Oh, right through the throat. Ooh. Saw it coming and got out of there. And Shamrock picks the leg, looking for the ankle lock submission. And gets to the ropes, and that's going to cause the ref to break the hold. And Shamrock picks the leg, looking for the ankle lock submission. It, and the rope save it there. But will he be able to last much longer? Pulled in from belly to belly. For the win. Two. Uh, uh, guys. Oh, my goodness. And going for a ride with a massive choke slam. What an impact made. I can't wait for this match, guys. Oh, we got company. Look who's here. A long-time rivalry unfolding before our very eyes. It appears that she's coming to the commentary desk. 
Well, the superstar in the ring had better focus on our opponent, not what's happening out here. It's kind of hard to ignore, Corey. This superstar is already playing head games. Listen, listen, listen. There is no way to know exactly what this superstar's motives are just yet. Let's not speculate. You know, tensions have been rising for weeks now. And with this match now underway, we'll see whether or not that distraction just proved to be an instant difference maker. I've said it before, but in this business, you've got to keep your head on a swivel. We just got a first-hand look at why that is. Yes, because some people just can't help themselves and have to stick their noses where they don't belong. Look, I didn't see any contact, Saxton, did you? I, I didn't think so. Practically never-ending blows coming at full force here. Power slam! She had it scouted! Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! And a series of vicious stomps. That was a showing of control and aggression. Something they'll want to keep up. Ah, oh, oh, look at this. Hair pull mat slam. Oh, using the knee as a weapon. Forearm after forearm. Vicious attack. You can see that each strike drained their opponent's energy. Oh, cover. This one's far from over. She's trying to get this thing done as quickly as possible. Oh, and a reversal. She might be able to start mounting something here. She isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to her. <laughs> Power slam. Good night. She's looking at it early. And only a one count. Too early for that pin attempt. Big form. It is getting ugly in a hurry. What a battle this has been. The hey, where the hell are they going? This superstar was supposed to be on commentary with us. It just turned everything upside down. These competitors, understandably, are shocked. This is going to force a disqualification. Man, it's, it's an absolute shame it had to end this way. Oh, there's a response against Raquel. <laughs> Raquel beats her to the punch. Dismantling the arm in the corner. Gotta hurt. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. Right in the jaw. Ugh, what a shot. Oh, it didn't go as planned there. Great counter. As this rivalry has grown more and more intense, reason has gone right out the window. That happens when a feud is allowed to fester like this one has. Yeah, there's no telling what we might see tonight. There's just so much rage and resentment in the ring. Ow. Raquel interrupts the attack. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Uh-oh. What on earth do they have planned now? This has been such a physical battle. And now from the top. What a gut wrench superplex. Uh-oh. Camel clutch lock. How did she get out of the camel clutch just like that? Thank you. 